Hello, hello agents, and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Daffy Roth, and in this video we're going to continue our playthrough of Resident Evil 3, Nemesis for the PlayStation 1. In our last episode, we had quite a battle to get back to this point. Um, the zombies just everywhere. We're trying to gather the parts for the, uh, uh, the trolley or the subway car. Not sure which, what it is in this one. Um, but so far we have the cables, the oil, well, the gas. So we need to get the oil additive and then, um, we still need to find the fuse. So that's what we're currently doing. So, uh, and then we found out that the guy who stayed behind at the beginning, he is now dead. So, I guess she should have come with us. Not that he probably would have fared any better, but really it's Jill's fault because she just chucked the keys away instead of actually locking the doors. But, it is what it is. So, without further ado, my fellow agents, sit back, relax, and let's have a little fun, shall we? Let's head back to that sales office. Um, and, uh, and yeah, go from there. I'm just starting to run a little low on ammo. I'm a little bit uncomfortable on our ammo stores. She's dead. Well, we should examine her with the PC just to make sure. But I hope everyone's doing well. I know uh, I'm doing okay. It's July now. We're almost we're over halfway through with the year already. So, tomorrow's 4th. Actually, I think this video is going to go up on the 4th, so. We'll look forward to that. So, with that being said, happy 4th of July, everybody. Let's get in here. Hope we all had a wonderful and safe uh, holiday. Oh, there was our epic battle that we fought against all the zombies that just threw up all over Jill's feet. I'm sure there's a subculture of the internet that would probably find that attractive. Mmm, that ass to spit on Jill's feet. Mmm. What I've always wanted. Alright, well, assuming that nothing else has spawned in here since we've been gone. Just as that zombie up here, I'm not really sure what we do with him. I wonder if he's just there just for ambience. Like, oh, that could happen. He could come splashing out. And then these weird ass bugs that were over here. <laughs> their derpy dance as they come at you. So I didn't realize this, but apparently this is an umbrella sales office. It's up here on the wall. I didn't even notice that. So, well, let's see if what he's doing. Hey, I got someone else you can scan with your PC. Yes, this man is very, very dead. Very dead. So dead. I do find it odd that everything is so temperature controlled in this town. <clears throat> like, I've never ever seen oil having to be temperature controlled before. So that's kind of a first for me. Oh. Dang it. Well, know what those owls are for now. 
Let's see if we can strategically use them to our advantage. Oh, and it targeted the wrong... Damn it, Jill. Jill targeted the wrong freaking thing. I hate that the grenade launcher still doesn't kill anything in one hit, though. <laughs> like... Ah, screw it. You know, I honestly don't care. Well, I'm I'm assuming that Nikolai is either dead. Or... Go check up on him though. It's Nikolai's PC. Too bad it's broken. Yeah, too bad. Oh. I knew he was back there, but I was kinda hoping he was facing the other way, so. Oh well. We got out of there with minimal use of ammo, I suppose. So... We don't know what's coming up exactly. So we have pretty much everything that we need. Uh, we still need fuse, is what we need. We need to return the compass to that dude's hand. Uh, at City Hall. So, that's what- that's one thing we need to do. Is it Carlos? Oh, that is not Carlos. Feels like <laughs> Nemesis is like, hey. All right. So what I want to try to do is I'm curious if I can use these, uh, but I want to use up his. Uh, damn it. I want to use up his rockets first. Nope. So basically, uh, because I, I played through this and I failed earlier, um, you want to get him to use up his rockets. So, and then you can just get on top of the... Uh, get on top of the uh the pallets i i kind of figured it out but um a lot of it's kind of rng so as soon as he drops a rocket launcher you can do it like i got him to actually waste his rockets on the on the corner there um so but then once he drops the rocket launcher you can try to bait him into this here Oh, well, assuming you don't- there we go. I was gonna say, assuming that he doesn't <laughs> tag you in the face. Alright, let's see if we can get him to... And then it's just a matter of just, uh... What the heck? Okay, so basically, he can hit you from over there. So, okay, fair enough. Well, let's see if we can do this a little bit better. I'll be right back and play up to that point. See you in a second. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, and we're back. 
All right, let's do this. He's gonna come over and have a conversation with Joe. He'll be like, What do you want? Come on, take aim. And we're just gonna spam this until he runs out of rockets. And then hopefully just keep him in the corner there, because that's really what we want, is for him to be in the corner. He's got to be just fast enough that you don't get smacked in the face with the rocket like I did last time. Oh, or avoid that too. So, uh, quick turn and uh, quick turn and accept are going to be your friends there. Now, first time I did this, it was a lot easier, so, of course. Oh, she didn't turn... What are you doing, Jill? She just did, like, a 360. She literally ran around in a circle. Ah. Sometimes these controls, I tell you what. Alright, really, it's not the controls, it's the controller, me. I, I, I think I went too fast. Damn it. And I got smacked. A lot of grenade rounds, but we got the M37 Part A. I'm not sure what that is, but I think it may be a shotgun. Ooh, okay. Well, now that that's over, so he drops from what I understand, um, drops two weapons, he drops the eagle, and then that. So the next fight would be the other part, and after that, I think it's just. I don't think there's any other fights, but let's uh, clear off our clear our wounds. Oh yeah, that's that's better. All right, and now we're gonna go heal up. Um, <sighs> definitely gonna just use a first right here. Um, think what I want to do here is, uh, I kind of want to wait until we get more. I can't use this until we actually get to the other part. So let's get this, this. Actually, don't need that yet. Find this. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and save. Alright, guys. Well, hey. That after, after about 
45 minutes. I'm going to be editing a lot of that out, so... Um... But that's basically the gist of it. He, he, a lot of it, he gets stuck in the corner. If he gets if he gets where you need him to be, that's awesome. But if he gets unstuck, it's just bad news bears, so... I did look up some help on that one, I'm not gonna lie. I knew, I knew about getting him the rocket launcher down and using the, um, and using the pallets, but I didn't know what to do if he gets unstuck, and to be honest, I couldn't find anything if it about it other than people left the uh, barrel, the fire barrel there, so, but, yeah, it is what it is. We got it. That's all that matters. This game cheeses me. I'll cheese it back. I guess maybe I do have to... Oh, sh nah, the birds, man. Not even gonna mess with them. There is literally no point in that. No, not today, crows. Not today. What the hell is this? Um. <laughs> Earthquake? Oh. Uh, we are going to jump off. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're going to have a, a what if machine here. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? No. No. Oh, it's all like on my boo. Come on, you'd think this would be a lot easier to freaking stab something. Oh, that went right to my uh my no no place. What is this? I mean, you're not going to comment on whatever the hell this is? I have some comments. What the hell is this? Will you go up the ladder? Yes, I will. Yeah, I have a bird. <laughs> he was apparently bitten on the neck until he died. Yeah, well, it happens. I wonder, you know, we'll see what happens later as far as the, the what if machine. Showed those birds what's what stabbed it right in the butt. Nah, it was done. There are blue herbs growing here. We'll use them. I don't need easies right now. Yeah, we don't. All right, might as well grab the cables. I think this is the last. No, it's not. But I mean, it's close enough to the last. They okay, might as well grab the cables. Uh, cables. Still need to find a fuse. So, I'm hoping that the statue has a fuse on it. If not, it's going to be kind of a... Oh! No, not even going to bother with you, sir. You can... 
happily just stay on your merry way. Alright, so we need a battery for this part. So we're going to head back to the... Make a collect call. Where's Chris? You said you'd always protect me. Let me go and he disappeared on me. I mean, so far, the, the what if scenarios haven't really been anything other than just it, the same events and What the hell? First of all, why are all those doggos in there? Alright. The, the future is in our hands. <laughs> uh, that's where you get it. We take the battery? Yes, I will. Alright, so we need to use the battery at the. Uh, well, we're gonna have to fight those doggos, maybe? Maybe not. Let's see if we can sneak by. Um, we could sneak by. Yep, just continue feasting, doggos. Don't mind me. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, I don't want to go. All right. Place the battery. Yes, I will. It's just on Twitch, a battery can be set. Yep. Oh, I thought we were going to go up. I was expecting to go down. All right. Dude, what is there's so many just hordes of zombies? Dude, look how much ammo that took after they got hit with the grenade launcher, even. Still not dead, mind you. I'm gonna have to make extra. I'm gonna have to make ammo. Look at this guy, though. He just came to work. You can see his head right here. Just came to work, you know, and didn't expect this to happen. Oh, 
Oh, but you brought gun? You bought you bought bullets. You know what? You can't prepare it, sir. What is, is that Claire? Claire, is that you? This is the Yeah, this is that nest. Yeah, we haven't you haven't seen this part in the remake, but this is this is a nasty, nasty place. Not looking forward to it. I'm gonna let me do something with this. What is this? It's gotta be like an explosive of some sort or something. So okay, it looks like there's two ways to get in here, so we'll go in this one first. Red herbs. Question is though, there's no save spots here. So, So in the remake, this whole area is like infested with bugs. It is gross. <gasps> Look at that. That is precious, precious ammo. An old emergency exit. The dusty Renab won't turn. And that's a lot of ammo. Red herbs too. You can mix with the green. High voltage control room, the lock will be released at. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a voltage puzzle. Well, so far, thankfully, it doesn't look like we're gonna have to worry about fighting. Um. But while we're here, we might as well take what we can. And then we'll make a trip back to the save room, drop it off, and then come back. That's my story. That's my plan. And I'm sticking to it. Well, is there anything down here? This is just where they're in there. I'm gonna go check that other room real quick just to uh, make sure that there's nothing else in here. Actually, no, because in case we trigger something, we'll come back. So pretty much the remake just has you going right there, like pretty much right from the get go. Like your goal is to get to that substation. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. We're just gonna go to the safe room then. We'll, we'll make some herbs. I, I, we're not going to make ammo quite yet. We'll, we're going to wait until after all this to see where we're at, what we need. Because we have quite a bit now. If we needed to, we can restock. But I want to explore the option of making some grenade launcher rounds and uh, freeze rounds and whatnot. So I don't know. We'll see. We shall certainly see. And we'll just dump these up here for right now. 
But let's go ahead and take out these. All right. So that just leaves the uh, yellow, the gum, B gum powder there, and then what's ever going to be in that other room, and then probably what I'm assuming is going to be the um, the fuse. But yeah, this whole area in the remake is, uh, it's got this huge, like, you know, those bugs, that's where they're coming from, and they just continuously spawn in there, dude, it freaking sucks. And then they have, uh, what they do is they'll, it, they'll basically impregnate you, you know, without consent, mind you. Um, and the, you know, you would think that a blue herb would do, but no, blue herbs don't exist in the world of Resident Evil remake. Talk from the other side, okay. Um, so it doesn't, you know, so a green herb, though, does. So they only have green and red herbs, so... I, uh... It's, it's, it's really weird. Like, even the zombies, like, in, in Resident Evil 2, like, you can, like, cut up zombies, cut off their legs, like, you can't do it in this, in Resident Evil 3 Remake. It's like, it's almost like Resident Evil 3 Remake came first, <laughs> honestly. Um, when it comes down to, you know, design and polish, you know, like a lot of stories been cut out too. Alright, so that's, that's Rusty Knob, okay. Uh, let's see here. When operating the transformer, be sure to set this power transmitter to manual mode. The old system is prone to short circuiting. Be careful not to let it exceed maximum levels. Will you set this device to manual mode? Yes. Alright. So are both these the same mobile well, control room? The lock will be released at 15 to 25. And this one will be released at 115 to 125. So let's do the 120. Let's do the high one first. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, so. There's a transformer that supplies power to the facility. We push the switch. Yes, I will. First switch, let's do... Second switch... Touch... Blue... Oh, looks like I have the high voltage first. <laughs> Oh, well, there's the fuse, so that takes care of that. We take the fuse. Yep, that gives us everything. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, there's another moment. Uh, increase electricity output. <laughs> yes, that's how we do it. The meters seem to be out of order. Dang it. Vulture's number has been changed possibly due to the short circuit. Will you push the switch? Yes. All right, so let's see if we can get that other one open. Um, red, 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 blue. Nothing happened. All right. Uh, red, blue, red, red. No. Okay. Well, let's do. 
blue, red, red, I don't think I'm onto something there, okay, well, I want to get that second door open, uh, let's do red, red, blue, there we go. Awesome. What, really? Oh, hey, look at that. That's the Magnum. Okay, well, that was worth it. Didn't get to use the emergency exit, though, but... Alright. Well, we'll definitely come back here for the what-if machine and... ...see what happens. Mmm, I love the smell of charred zombie in the morning. Smells like victory. can't take the battery back out. I'm like, no, my battery. Uh, that's gonna take us back to... Reddit. This way. Well, I guess we won't know what happens until later as far as that emergency exit is concerned. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Um, all right, we have everything we need, so. I remember it's gonna run by the doggos, no point in wasting ammo on them. I guess we'll, we're gonna see the what-if machine early because I don't have anything to say, so... Um, I will be right back, I'll get up to that point, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, see you in a second. After these messages, we'll be right back. On the Health Show with Kathleen Sullivan. Sprain your ankle, while the other kids are having fun, you have to sit inside. How to get back on your feet faster later today. 
Alright agents, I am back. So I went ahead and I replayed through some of the sections here and I got because just where I was at and where the save was at just wasn't conducive. So um right now we're back in the substation. Uh this is essentially gonna be the second what if scenario. Uh we still have the other one to do, but you already saw what happens when we do the first one. I figured since I had to go back through, we'll just choose the other option and uh go from there. So, real quick, let's go ahead and see what happens, and, uh, yeah, go from there. Um, so it does share whichever one you pick up first, so we are going to go ahead and get the Magnum first, and... All right, so this time we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose the uh, head to the emergency exit. Oh, I, so it's not even a room. It's just uh, it's just the hallway. So that's uh, that's what happens there. Um, let's go back in and see if uh, we can go and get the fuse. Uh, we already got everything else. I did find out what that red thing on the wall is, though. Uh, what that is... Okay, so... This is, this is the worst option, essentially. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go ahead and, uh, reload, and I will, um, be right back. Right after this. After these messages... We'll be right back. Yeah. I'm Captain OG Reborn. My motto's tried and true. Read a book today, I bet you'll say, oh, gee, <laughs> I'll be <read> more too. <laughs> All right, and we're back. So what we ended up doing was just uh, using the electrical so we can go ahead and grab everything because we no sense doing that. So I did find out what this red, uh, this red thing was here was for. Um, that was and explodes like dynamite. So it actually made this area a lot easier. I did get bit once, but I did take them all down except for one Zombo. So that's why we have a little bit more ammo and I did clear out the inventory prior to that. So now we have Nemesis coming up and um, the strategies that I did see online uh, for this fight, I'm not gonna be able to utilize uh, because I don't have the enhanced gun ammo. Now I was really hoping um, It's so I'm not even sure where I'm at as far as how many times I've made handgun bullets, but apparently if you make handgun bullets seven times, it gives the option to make enhanced and I tried using the two that I have and that doesn't put me in that range. So um, maybe the Magnum rounds will do it. I'm not entirely sure, but um, essentially you can stun lock him and that's not what we're going to be able to do. So it's it's sad days all around for that, but um, so let that be a lesson. Uh, if you're if you're going into this game, uh, just start mixing the ammo rather than stacking the ammo. Um, mix it one per. Um, so um, I forgot. I lost. I have a headache, so I lost my train of thought. Um, Oh, so, so basically you can stun lock him and get him stuck on the wall. So my, my plan is, is to see if I can use, could try to make freeze rounds. I don't know how effective they're going to be. And I don't, I don't want to waste gunpowder on something that's not going to work. So we do have a Magnum that we could run dry. Um, that is a possibility. So let's let's do this. Let's get this out of the way because we do want that other piece of uh, the rest of the gun if we can. So let's 
So if we can get, if we can stop him with the Magnum, that may be good. Um, at least let's get him stuck and then switch between that and the... I'm not sure how good the grenade launcher would be on this, but... Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to save it here. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll trigger the fight. And we'll see what we can do um, from there. I like the dogs like this throwing chunks of meat like so far back behind them. Like, Alright, here we go. Um, so, essentially what we want to do is we want to get him stuck on this corner probably right where we're standing. But I am curious. Wow, that was a great shot, Jill. Where I'm stuck, actually. Just was great. My God, that was terrible. Ghost projector guns, each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. All right, so we are going to go and try to fight Nemesis, but we do need to prepare, so... Um... Trying to think, uh, what do I want to do? We're gonna need this for sure. Um, let's go ahead and you know we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make some ice rounds. Um. It's supposed to slow him down. I don't think it's going to, but we'll see. All right, so let's store this back in here. I'm going to take a green herb because I'm already kind of hurt. So, and what I'll do is I'll burn the green herb first. <laughs> And then we'll go from there. So, all right. Did we already load it? Yeah, we did. Okay. What we're gonna do is we'll trigger the fight. Oh my god, Joe. You're killing me. It's like she has the auto aim, but then she aims off into the wilderness rather than. doing what she needs to do. 
All right, here we go. Ah, that's a waste of ammo. Come on, get up. Only problem is he's unstuck. <laughs> it's fine. Look, I'll take that as a somewhat of a win. Get this in. Um, all right, he's gonna throw me. That's fine. Come on, we need to get up so we can dodge him. Come on, get up. All right, I will take that. Yeah, stars. Son of a bitch. Oh, and there we go. We got it. And we still have plenty of handgun ammo. So honestly, I kind of figured that that's my own strategy right there. So. Yeah. I'm proud of it. Uh, but first we need to go back and get all of our stuff for the trolley, put away the stuff that we don't need. Um... Oh look, the dogs are back. Look how far they throw those chunks of meat. All I know is this video is going to be so... I'm going to have so much editing to do on this video. I spent a good hour on that Nemesis fight, so... Um... So yeah, ice rounds. Thank you, Lady Random, for that, uh, for that word of advice. So for now, let's put away the pack of this. We'll take that. Let's create a shotgun. Western Custom. Check. Western Custom M37, equipped with a special reload system, is effective for close range battle. It uses 12 gauge shotgun shells. So it's a shotgun. Nice. Okay. So we have that. Um, let's go ahead and store this up here with our weapons we're not really using at the moment. And. Let's go ahead and take out... ...our battery and our thing here. And... yeah, we'll go with that. Alright. Let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and do the trolley and then we'll call this an episode and then I'm gonna edit this thing to hell. Apparently, you can fight Nemesis in the first time. If you go into the police station, he chases you in there. Um, you can actually use the, uh... Just for fun here. Um... That's more like a shh... More like a, uh... Sawed off. Um... Apparently, when you chases them into the, you can use the trick of getting them stuck on corners in Marvin's office and stab him with the knife over and over again. So I know some people look down on using stuff like that, but I don't care. <laughs> like, I, I think he's cheap compared to what you can do, which I I understand, I get it, but at the same time, it still takes work to get to that point. Like, you know, for instance, are you kidding me? What now? Do 
we fall in another hole? Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, we did. Well, I guess we're not going back that way. Oh, it's this thing. Tremors? It's emergency power supply, will you turn it on? Yes. Way. Come on. Yes. Uh, uh. All right. I know what I gotta do there. Be right back. What's scary? Bounces and has a face only a mother could love. Ugly Ball. You can get one free from Bunker's Chewy Candy by sending 10 outside wrappers to Bunker's Ugly Ball, Box 1197, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Ugly Balls from Bunker's. You'll love them. All right. And we're back. I'm just going to take us through from right here. <sighs> Dude, this, this, this game sesh has been just one frustration after another. Come on, get up. There we go. Stare at the wall for a second. You could have killed us earlier when we fell through the hole earlier, but we didn't. Didn't even decide to look at it. Whose fault's that? Alright, that's one. Let's grab the... Let's, you know, let's get him to come out down here first. Yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I will. Ah, oh, screw you, Tremor, man. Freaking this place has gone to hell. Here we got bugs. We got... What's next? Zombie bears? Okay. All right, everybody. I think we're gonna head. We're gonna head over to the what if machine and check the status of the us falling into the hole um, before we close out the video. Um, since we're at that point, anyways, we're gonna go ahead in our next video. We'll we'll go ahead and put all this stuff in here and get this train moving. So, um, so yeah, friends. I will see you over in the what if machine here in just a moment. <laughs> We'll be right back. Hello, fellow agents. <laughs> and here we are messing with our what if machine. We've already done one. We're doing the actual first one here. So I have a pause here. So 
Uh, we did try to jump off, which we did do, and then it put us into the uh, into the sewer. So we're going to try the climb up this time. So uh, let's go ahead and without further ado, get this going. Oh, and we just definitely dodge. That's it. So, okay. Well, my friends, um, that's it for this <laughs> what if machine. Uh, I wonder if we can jump down. No, we can't. So essentially it just tells us that, hey, there's a boss coming that's got uh, a weird the tremor thing. So, all right. Well, my uh, fellow agents, I do appreciate you watching this video. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, and comment, please, down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, in the meantime, while I edit this video, uh, feel free to check out, um, the, uh, the creators in the description down below. Each one of them are equally and amazing people. And I was wrong. This isn't going up on the 4th of July. It's going up on a couple days after, because I don't know how to count. So, but yeah. All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out. Um, until next time, may all of your dreams, may all your prayers protect you from those things that go bump in the night. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Agent Daffy Roth signing off. Bye-bye.